I'm going to be showing you how to get this gorgeous glam slashed throat look. This look was inspired by Ellie Max. I've done this look previously before, but I wanted to do it again with the glitter twist. I didn't use glitter before, I just used fake blood, but this time we're going to be using glitter blood. So it's a bit more glam to go with my Glamoween theme. So the end result gives this amazing illusion. It's really, really effective in creating that illusion that your bones are there, which I love. So I'm going to show you how to get this look, so let's get straight into it. So I've made this prosthetic. I know what it looks like, but it's not. This is going to be what I attach onto my neck, so you can see, and then we're going to have the bones sticking out as well. So this was really quick and easy to make, so I just had like a flat plastic mat, and I just gradually sponged on latex to build this bit up, and then on top I just got cotton wool, just ripped loads of bits up and put it on, then soaked it with latex on top and then just shaped it how I wanted it. So I'm going to put this where I want it. I, kind of, I don't want it all the way at the top because I want to be able to bend my neck. So I'm just going to be placing it just about here. Maybe a bit lower. So you can still bend your neck and move it around. So just find where you want it. Like play around with the position. I'm going to get a lip pencil and just kind of draw very gently so I know where to put the bones and things. And like so. Line doesn't have to be perfect because obviously we're going to be covering it anyway. It's just a rough map out so we know where to place things. So I'm just going to get little bits of cotton wool and kind of just like roll them. So it looks like this. Be done. And then with some liquid latex on a sponge so that you can just throw it away after because anything latex goes on, it ruins. So don't use nice brushes. You want to go over slightly on the line so you can put prosthetic over the top. So that's our bones. You can see I can still move around. And they sit comfortably because the cotton wool is very light. So I'm going to go in and fill the negative space in. You can use face paint or eyeliner, whatever you have laying around. I'm going to be using my Sigma Gel Liner. I've been using this for my Halloween tutorials for black painting and I find it works so well because you can blend it out really nicely and once it dries it stays there. So it's good if you're going to a Halloween party or if you're wearing this out for a while. So I definitely recommend this eyeliner. I'm just using a small brush and I'm just going to be going in carefully, not to get it on the cotton wool. doesn't matter if you go over slightly on the mat that we've done, because if you, that's obviously going to be covered anyway. I'm going to add that illusion that it's actually our bones sticking out from our spine. I'm going to go out slightly just to make sure that it is all covered with the prosthetic. So when you come to the neck, you want to go right under your jawbone. So once you've filled in all the negative space and your bones are where you want them to be, remember have a play around, you can manipulate cotton wool so you can make it look however you want it to look. Now we're going to go in and put latex on the back of our prosthetic and stick it over the top. And then once you've positioned it how you want it, you then go over with a little bit of latex just to smooth the edges out. So if you want to speed up the process of the latex drying, just grab your hair dryer on a low heat setting and a low speed and then you can just dry the latex to its dry. So to actually make this latex look like my skin tone, I'm going to go in with a foundation that matches my skin tone. And I'm just going to go in with a brush. Now I'm just swapping to a smaller brush that so I can go in around the inner bits and get more into the texture. So then once you've done that, this is totally optional, but I'm going to go in with some powder just so I don't get foundation all over my wig just to set the foundation. 
Now I'm going to go in with some red face paint and just go around the inner edges and put a bit on the cotton wool as well because obviously the blood wouldn't be neatly placed. If you haven't got face paint you can use liquid lipsticks or cream eyeshadows, anything that you have laying around. And then as you come outwards, just think how blood would drip down. It wouldn't all go down the feet, it would kind of splare outwards. And keep doing it until it looks something like this, or however you want it, just play around. This is your look. So I didn't have any hair gel or anything, so I've actually used shampoo. Um, it was just a clear shampoo that I had, and I've mixed it with lots of red glitter. And this is gonna be my glam glitter blood. Literally just put on and drip it down. Get that dripping effect. You can see it just drips down. And put it in bones. And that is the finished look. It is so glamorous, it's super sparkly with the glitter blood. I love it, and I love that my lips match, and it's super comfortable, you can wear this for a long period of time. It's secure with the latex, and I think the effect is awesome. So thanks for watching, and remember to click the like if you enjoyed this video, and click download to click subscribe, and I will see you next time for the next London tutorial.